Welcome back to Ask an Expert. I'm Dr. Markus Rogan. I'm a chemist. And today I'm not going to answer your questions, but we're going to synthesize THC from scratch, or at least with this molecular kit. Um, we quickly build it, and so that we get into an idea, where does THC come from? How does it relate to CBD? Uh, where do the differences and the similarities come from? So let's get going. So molecular kit, these represent atoms. The black ones are carbons, the red ones are oxygens, and they give us a rough idea of how the, uh, the small world of atoms actually look. Um, so let me start building THC, uh, and for that, I think in building blocks. So I built my first building block, which is an isoprene, which is the starting point for all terpenes. So you might wonder, terpenes? We're building THC. Uh, and terpenes are also present in cannabis. That's what gives you the flavor. And not only are they both present in, uh, in the cannabis plant, but they also are related in the structure in that if I take two isoprene units and I stick them together, like so, I created myrcene which uh, is one of the more abundant uh, terpenes in the cannabis plant. But I will need this part to make THC, so give me a moment. So I'm using a slightly different colored uh, atom here. Um, this is also car should represent carbon, but with a slightly different bond configuration because I need to make a, a flat six-membered ring, a benzene, which will be the centerpiece of our THC molecule. So let me just get this all together. And when we have this built, one more, uh, then we can start decorating this. So here we have the ring. We need some oxygens for our alcohols on the benzene ring. Uh, here, we also want to make, so you re might remember THC has a, has a carbon tail. So let's build this. And the length of this tail is five carbons for THC. If you would stop at three carbons, like now, you would build the basic frame for THCV. But let's just go beyond this quickly to THC, or what is the five carbon side chain of THC. We also have to make our THC acid, or want to get a THC acid. So we will stick on an acid group on this ring. Go. So here we have our acid. Now we can marry our terpene unit, the myrcene, and our benzene ring, which was the allovitolic acid, which gets us now to CBG. Let me just turn this around because mostly you see it this way presented. Here we can just turn around these bonds. Uh, to give it a bit better representation. So, this is CBG acid. Um, we can turn this into CBD by just folding the ring and adding one more bond, like so. Here we have CBD acid. And for THC, we need one more bond. And uh, please remember, this is a oversimplification of how these bonds are actually made. Biology creates them with enzymes, and it's a little bit more complicated. So this is now THC acid. Uh, THC acid is naturally occurring in a cannabis plant, but it won't make you high. To, make you, uh, to have the intoxicating effect, you need to decarboxylate with uh, heat. So upon baking or smoking, this acid group will fall off and you make THC. And I just want to remind you 
that this is THC which is intoxicating, and CBD, so without this one bond, is non-intoxicating. Why would that be? Um, so a good explanation here is this is not the structure of CBD in a three-dimensional space because now this, this bond here is missing, the actual configura configuration would be like this. And this has a very different spatial arrangement than THC that is locked into these three rings. So this is one of the main reasons why one is intoxicating and the other is not. So this is THC. Let me tell you a few more things about it. Um, if as a chemist we want to talk about it, we would talk a benzene moiety, a pyran moiety, and then the cyclohexene unit up here where the double bond is positioned here. So that's why it's delta 9 THC. If the double bond would be on this side, it would be delta 8, delta 10, delta 7, and so on. And the other part that you might recognize from THC is it's trans delta 9 THC. So the trans comes from this bond and this bond here, where they are, if you look at this hexene moiety, um, one is forward, one is backward. So that's trans. They could also be cis to each other. So if I just remove this bond, turn this, stick this in here, now this is on the same side, so it's cis. But this is more strained. So naturally occurring, we get this trans. Let me just pull this back out. So this is the trans. So this is my short explanation of where THC comes from and how it looks. Thank you for watching.